this is my desk where all of my dreams come true. Most of the work while producing a video and to keep myself entertained, this is my favorite place. Like most computer desks, it has two desk grommets on both sides to route wires through them. As my PC on this desk is on the right side, so all the wires are passed through the hole on the right side and the left one is just stays untouched. While scrolling through the internet, I found these power grommets. Looks quite promising. Two power sockets and two USB ports. While looking at their prices, <gasps> forget about it. I will make my own. So without further ado, let's start with the build. First of all, we have to determine what kind of plug we are going to use. As I am in India, we are commonly using D-type plugs. 3-pin configuration, phase, neutral and earth. Sometimes though we use C-type plugs for low power demanding applications such as smartphone chargers, low power adapters and fans etc. With bigger loads something like motors, heaters, ovens etc. we use D-type plugs but much heavier and way bigger plugs which are generally rated for 16 ampere. Obviously their plug dimensions are also different. So with the small introduction of plug types out of the way, let's jump into the design. In my case of my desk power grommet, there is no need for a 16 ampere outlet. That grommet outlet only is in use while charging my laptop or my smartphone. The load from this outlet never exceeds 200 watt. So a 6 ampere socket would be enough. Obviously the main component of this project is a 6 ampere socket. After disassembling the socket, we get three individual pins where the plugs actually make contact. These three pins and this outlet cell are important for my project. This portion not needed. Now we have to carefully measure the dimension of each pin and their in between distances, which is more or less something like this. With these values in mind, I have slid down the corresponding pins with the plug and measure the dimensions once again. Also, this gap between the plug body and the socket pins is mandatory to measure. This will later help me to decide the thickness of the body. Next, I have to measure the size of the hole of the table. So I have removed the old grommet and measured the diameter, which is almost 50 mm. And considering the error of my 3D printer, I would take my decision something like this. This measurement is important as in my design I am not adding nuts like the commercial ones. So I have to make this grommet as much tight as possible. Why you may ask? Because while removing the plug the grommet should not leave its place. It should stay as it is. So to keep all the measurements in mind I have designed my own desk power grommet in Fusion 360. It also has a lid on the back for safety. Let's export it into the slicer. Here I need to change 5 major settings. Layer height which should be 0.25 mm, pattern gyroid, temperature for the nozzle 220 degrees celsius and 60 degrees celsius for the bed. Speed 120 mm per second would be enough. And finally infill which represents the strength of the print, I choose 55% infill. Also I am not using any support. That's it. Let's slice it and move the G code to the printer. After around 3 hours of print with PLA, the model is ready. Now we need the lead, which is also printed with similar print settings, but this time I have chosen 25% infill. In the pins of phase and neutral, you can see another hole right here. Instead of removing them apart, I have printed these spacers that would come in handy. Now it's time for assembling. First of all, I have used a bit of two component adhesive on the spacers and inserted them on top of the unnecessary holes. Next I have placed the pins on their respective cutouts and put the back cover in place. As with the design I have left a screw hole so I just placed one on it and tight it. Not too tight, not too loose. While that is done I have prepared the extension wires. I have picked up 0.5 square millimeter red, black and blue respectively for face neutral and earth. I need 1.5 meters of them. After stripping them off, I have hooked them up accordingly. 
the right side from the front is face so from the back left side is face the right side is neutral and this thick one is obviously earth next what's mandatory is to connect a suitable plug top this is the wiring scheme that i am going to follow after wiring correctly and connecting the safety stuff my version of power grommet is prepared all i have to do is to set it in the disc cutout so i have passed the plug through the hole and set the grommet with a lot of pressure and join the back plate with the super glue of course i have connected the plug with an outlet and there we have it the power grommet is ready to use let's connect my laptop and test for performance now i am drawing around 144 watt from the plug after a few hours of usage i didn't feel anything the outlet even not a bit warm so i think this is a successful project what do you think let me know in the comment section below also all the details of this project are in the video description hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned something new if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe and activate the notification bell for future updates thank you so much